Mark, I want to kick things off with you. We've yep. got a big day this morning. Second quarter earnings will kick off today with PepsiCo crossing earlier, beating on earnings but missing on revenue, facing weaker demand for its snacks and sodas in, in the U.S. Delta Airlines in line with expectations. It beat on revenue, uh, but it issued light guidance for the third quarter. The stock is getting killed. Delta Airlines right now is down 9.5%, Mark. We'll hear from the major banks, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, and Bank of New York Mellon tomorrow morning. What's your assessment so far and your expectations for the second quarter profit season? What we saw today so far, you know, we look at, at trying to get a good read on the consumer. And we know the consumer has been spending less money on goods and more on services, of which travel is certainly one of those key components of services. And you see that the forecast for Delta is incredibly weak. And Maria, I talked about this a few weeks ago, but there was a report that came out that said that it's not just lower income people that are struggling right now. Families making $150,000 a year and above, one third of those families have said that they don't know how they're going to make ends meet wow. over the course of the next six months. So, you know, the contagion is spreading. When it comes to Pepsi, you know, a, 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 this is a GLP-1 casualty. This is an Ozempic casualty. Oh, yeah, right. A, and when you look at Pepsi, they're going to say that inflation is the problem. Consumers can't afford a bag of Fritos, right? They're, they're less volume, but fortunately, prices are higher. But in actuality, sugary beverages and snacks are not going to be in high demand when people are focused on losing weight or when they're when their appetite isn't quite there. So they continue to kind of dodge this, the, the elephant in the room, which is what is happening with regards to ongoing demand from a more health conscious consumer standpoint. So many implications of those Ozempic related drugs. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Like the derivative effect yeah, derivative, is, is yeah. substantial. Yeah. Like, like like a Planet Fitness, if not for their locker room incident a few months ago, that would be something that I would think would be doing very well right now as consumers decide, hey, I'm on this drug, I'm losing weight, yeah. I want to go get in shape at the gym. Yeah, so lots point. of lots of effects there. You're right.